Welcome back to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I keep thinking it's Forbidden Land in my head. You know? Okay, so the uh, the scissor lift, all right? So for those of you who didn't know what that was, it's a industrial kind of device that basically replaces um, scaffolding and ladders. And it's wheels with a platform with like, with like a scissor that, that brings a load up, okay? And it's kind of wobbly, but it's also very stable. It's wobbly, but it's pretty stable. Like, it doesn't usually fall over. Um, so we had to do, at one point, we had to, we had to do a scissor lift thing. Um, during a job that when I was working for public work to use this lift or something. And it was really fucking wobbly. It was like, woo, woo. it was like, whoa. But what happened was, as it pushed up, it pushed down into the, into the earth, and the earth ended up being really, really soggy. So it didn't, so it, it wobbled, but it didn't fall over. But then as soon as it came back down, it was like the wheels were completely embedded in the mud and we couldn't move it. It was just stuck there. <laughs> this is like isn't one of lesbians bridge. <laughs> but yeah, man, like they were just like it was just stuck there and like they just spun underneath the underneath the the um oh. underneath the uh, the mud. And it's like, oh well, I guess we gotta get a fucking tow truck now to get this thing out. What a shit show job that was. Did you know Dev Idolite is Adam and Stitch, who are going around rampages blocking people on Twitter because they got called out that Ukraine isn't a whole democracy. Ukraine has its problems. I'm probably going to have to do a video on like the pros and cons of the Ukrainian position at this point, because it's there's clearly like some bad things they've done too. I still think Russia's Russia's the worst party, but like Ukraine's no angel. Um no, what's, there's a lot of corruption. Here's what's really funny though. So Sargon has a Brenner account on Twitter, okay? He, Sargon's like very banned from Twitter. Like, you, like he, he, he is banned on site. So when he's on Twitter, he's like, he's like under a burner account. He doesn't say who he is. Okay. But this is this is the drill power. So, Sargon being completely banned on Twitter means that basically, um, in he, he in his burner account. He's like, he's kind of like testing the water, he's trolling people a bit. And he trolled Adam and Sitch, and they both blocked him thinking he was some random like pro-Russia troll. And I was just like, um, do they know Sargon? And he's like, no, don't tell them. <laughs> so guys, guys, don't, don't tell anybody. Please. You can, always, you can always search a little bit. Like search that, or search that, or search. Yeah, Dev, I know. Here, search that, yeah, search. Oh. Oh boy. Stairs oh, melting. Fuck off, Shogoth. Yes, yes, but you guys might have Spike. Yeah, we had we got Spike earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. Um, here's the thing: the the final two things, Shogoth, ban all parties that are not that are not Zelensky's party and ban all not non-state media. Those are, are. This is gonna be an unpopular opinion. But you can actually make sense of those actions during wartime. Not during peacetime, but during wartime. It's like, okay, yeah, I get it, you know? Like, you can't, like you're, you're being fucking invaded. There's no time for, for bullshit right now. So, okay, yeah, fair enough, you know? I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. Yeah, so it always pushes it forward unless the back is against a wall. So you gotta, like, puzzle it out. Yep, so there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, I know what you mean, Shogoth. Yeah. Yeah, people are saying, like, what kind of liberal democracy does this? It's like one that's being invaded, you know? You can't <laughs> when it's when when it's a matter of there are enemy troops on your soil and advancing. You can't deal with bullshit about just like subversives in the media. Like you gotta deal with that. Bring back the free speech after. Like you're, you're being invaded. Like this is the end of this is the end of the republic. You have to fucking do something. It's like I understand. I don't like it, but I understand it. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> nope. Ugh, pain in the ass. Nope. Oh, fuck off. What would be the incentive to bring back free speech after it's taken away? Yeah, that's true, right? Like, but at the same time, um, are you supposed to literally just be okay with things going to shit because you, uh, you've allowed subversives to continue operating in, in your country while it's being invaded? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep, we'll just let Russian propaganda continue. It's like, nah, come on. Let's be a little smarter than that. There's one more, dude. It's on the left side. And here's the thing, like, I don't like it, but I understand it, is basically what I'm saying. I'll do a video on it, I'm sure. One day. In the far future. <laughs> the distant future. The distant future. The future. 20, 30 seconds, dude. You better get it out. You so. did it. I think it's the last one. Yeah, I don't Oh, know. God, good job. I don't know, Lord. I, I think it's actually kind of reverse sometimes. Like, Sitch seems more unable to understand. To, to, Sitch, it, it, he's a nice guy. I'm not, I'm not complaining. But he seems more unable to understand positions that are like... No, hold on. Let me rephrase. He seems more unable to understand when people are arguing for positions they don't actually believe in, but they're just playing devil's advocate. So that, that, that's what was happening with Sargon. Um, yeah, that one. Oh, you, did you already do Hammer Strike? No, you didn't do it yet. Yeah. That's, that's what was happening with Sargon. When, when Sargon, Sargon wasn't advocating for Russia's position, he was like, this is why Russia's doing it. And so she's like, no, 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 it's like, shut the fuck out. But also, Sargon is exceptionally bad at, like, doing that kind of devil's advocate stuff. <laughs> I like him, but oh, Jesus Christ. There are some, sometimes he needs to, like, <laughs> like... Give us balls tuck. <laughs> give us <it> not. <laughs> He just, he, like, he doesn't seem to be able to make people understand when he's not advocating, when he's not advocating for something, he just understands it. So is that him just sounding too serious, or is that everyone else being too autistic to understand? Or is it both? <laughs> mm, I don't know. It's a hallmark of a female brain to be able to un unable to handle hypotheticals. I actually recall hearing that like 50% of the prison population has an IQ that is like underneath 90. Yeah, we, we talked about that. And they're unable to handle hypotheticals. Yeah. And it's just like, so, how would you feel if you had cereal for breakfast today? And he's like, I didn't have cereal for breakfast today. I had bacon and eggs. It's like, okay, but what? How would you feel if you had? He's like, oh, I didn't have it though. Like, like they're just, uh, they don't get the idea of having yeah, yeah. What, How do you function? Because you look, because yeah, because that, that was that was that was a four chan post we were talking we we're discussing. Mm -hmm. Because they're talking about um, you know a person with uh, average IQ that one up there, and then down to ninety, and then and then, that one over there. Uh, uh, you have like yeah, a ninety right. IQ right now, Jesus. Eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I can do hypotheticals, and I can come up with a story with with you know multiple characters and multiple multiple plot threads. <laughs> I don't know if I call it woman brain, but like I find it annoying brain. Can you know what fucking bothers me? And I'm sorry, but it's been more women than men than do this for sure. But like, when it's like a new movie or a new show or something, and something's happening, and the person's like, "Oh my god, what does that mean? Who's that? What's going on?" Like, shut the fuck up and watch the show, dude. We'll figure oh, you it mean, out. You mean your mom? Yes. <laughs> Not just her, but like, like I have met other people who do this, but like, Jesus Christ, dude, like, chill. <laughs> like, w watching something like Game of Thrones with them is like abysmal because they're just like, never shut the fuck up. Oh shit, dude, oh shit. I know, I thought it was gonna work. <laughs> Every five minutes in the show, they haven't explained it to me like I'm five moment. Yes. Fucking yes. Ouch. Fuck. 
<laughs> I just sit there and watch, and then my mind goes blank, and I'm distracted because I saw a small thing like a proper or a lapel. Or you know what you saw? Maybe you saw a Starbucks coffee cup on the table in the background. <laughs> Wait, it's just a proper lapel. I'm thinking of something else. I'm gonna stop motion. Yeah, Shogoth. Dude, so I do the same. I do the same guy after. Dude, thing. when you that's like that's an attention deficit yeah, thing too. <laughs> I, imagine watching Dune and having to like look up fucking everything all the time. A uh, kind of yeah. yeah. I mean, you could watch it at just at face value, but there's Are so they searching much. Searching that, that like little island up there. Yeah, that yeah. Or, I searched it. No, 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 the actual island. Go back. Why? This this little thing. Yes, the actual like pile of leaves that you keep passing by. You mean this is Boomerang Island? You're a boomerang yourself. Okay, here. Dev, go I, already went, I already went this area. I don't know. I don't know why you're. You press an A all the way down. Or just, a no, it, it's a pop. It pops up. Yeah, but like if you just A, you'll find it faster. Yeah. Be like a, an autist about it. Uh, <laughs> okay, next level. Let's go. Uh, that's not. Have you searched those ruins yet? This. Oh. God, fuck off. <laughs> be a smarmy putt. Listen, can I be right? Can I be right sometimes? Okay, I've never done that, show. <laughs> Maybe she hasn't removed while masturbating because I see something in the background of a porn or a hentai. Okay, you know what? You know what I will say, Shogoth? I kind of understand that. Like... If you see some of the some of the houses in like in the background of porn shoots, or like like the backgrounds in hentai that are usually pretty well done. Um, oh, jeez! Get, get the invincible. Get the yeah, invincible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, 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 oh. This is so easy. <laughs> Excellent. So. <laughs> Yeah, man, like, I, I'm, I'm just thinking about it now, because sometimes if you look in the background, well, no, no I, I know a little bit about the porn, the porn industry in the West. They either buy or rent houses, and these houses sit vacant. They're furnished with, with the basics. Are they owned by Russians or Chinese but, people? No. <laughs> what it is, uh, is they are, um, they sit relatively, they sit relatively vacant, but they'll go there to shoot porn. So you'll see like 50 porns shot in the same house. Yeah. And the idea is, um, they call it a shoot house. It's, it's a perfectly livable house with all the amenities of a house. With all the furniture and all the all the everything. Mm -hmm. And like working plumbing, because they have to use the washrooms, obviously. Um, but they only go there to shoot porn. And they stage things in the house. Like this is like, in, in, the, in the story of the porn, it's like, this is my husband's house and we're going, to, I'm gonna cheat on him here. Like shit like that, right? Yeah, there was a YouTuber that actually shared a porn set, yes. It was kind of funny when it was finally discovered. I think, I think it was, it was, it was some lefty tuber, or it, it was like doing like a D&D podcast. I think it, it, it might have been like, like Will Wheaton involved. He might have been involved in that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Really? I think, I think he had like a show, and it turns out like his set, he, he was doing, doing like, like, a, like a tabletop show, and his set was actually like the same set of a, of a, of a porn. Yeah! The cutter, the cutter needle blueprint. Okay. Uh, needle, I don't really know much. I don't know how to use the needles. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, the, when, I, when you find me shooting up heroin, just fucking kill me. <laughs> well, I might as well just fucking kill you right now. <laughs> I don't like you. I mean, I can, I can get you just swallow the heroin. They just drink it, like heat up, heat up in the spoon. Just go. <laughs> I know Russell Brand used to smoke it. Jesus. It was well eaten. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's okay, so what I'm talking about though is basically like there are these like, like these houses that you can. But what's funny with the houses is, like, sometimes if you watch like, a fair amount of porn, you'll notice it's the same house. And it's like, oh, like, I recognize that living room. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, but also, sometimes you see really weird things in in the situation. So, yes, there was the Will Wheaton, same same set that porns happen on. Yes, okay. There was also a situation, though. Oh, dude, some milk. Who's, who's lost on it? Will Wheaton. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, was, there was another situation, though. There was another situation of where... Uh, Who's this? 
Who's this? Who's this duck? I'm gonna be pouring at her, I'm for sure. Okay, so listen. There was a movie, and it might have been on, might have been like a JonTron, or it might have been like a Best of the Worst, or something. It was a movie where they like there was a very noticeable red car seat as the main sitting area in the main sitting area, where it was like the front of a car, where like, like the arms of the car had. had Thank like, God. Took her out just as she was gonna suck us in. The the arms of the of the of the um Let's see, what do you got? of of the of the couch had headlights. Oh All right. whirlwind. Nice. Oh. Okay, next. The arms of the, the arms of the couch had headlights on it, and it was like red like a, like a, like a car, but like the uh, the um, the hood was opened up and that was like the seating. It was it was like a car couch, okay? It was, it was kind so of like a car bed only. <laughs> yeah, but it was a couch. And it, it was in, it was in the background wow. of this of this movie, and that same thing was used in like a shit ton of porns, which was like part of the joke. And it's like, Ow, eventually, fuck. eventually you, you become to notice that like there's these hoses that are used as sets for sale. Yeah, I don't know. Come on, <laughs> am I being carried away in a fucking coffin? Um. Uh, we should probably go. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. That, uh, that, okay. Go oh, good job. Thanks. So, I guess what I'm trying to get at is like, you know how there are people who they might, they might obsess over, like, well, not necessarily Start obsess. Not necessarily obsessed, but like, be interested in like behind the scenes things of anything. Like, how was this made? Or what, what did the set look like? What, you, mean, what, like you mean like a show how it's made? What, <laughs> what are these set blueprints? Or maybe it's like, uh, you know, for, for a YouTuber, for example, like, hey, uh, what, what, what's the layout of Spoonie's house? Because you can kind of see parts of it. Like, stuff like that, right? Yeah. Like, like regular behind fan the scenes stuff. stuff. I mean, look, look how many people were obsessed with, like, maybe even behind the scenes. Yeah. Look, look, at, look at me with, um, oh, fuck, did I? You can just go back, can't we? Yeah. yeah. I guess what, I guess what I'm saying is, though. Like Lord of the Rings. I guess what I'm saying is, yeah. is that when it, there, there's, like, another effect that, that kind of same oh, thing happens. I think, I think we should actually go back. This this is obviously the way we have to go. Is it? Okay. So if this okay. is... Well, if there's hey, did, signage there. No, yeah. there, I, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to, like, really get this out. Baby, it's kind of, it's kind of not, it's kind of not making sense to me, but I'm trying make to... Baby. I was just like, you fucking do this, like, Jesus Christ. You did it. Yay! <laughs> so. So it identifies as, as born. Yeah, is that what it is? Oh, good job. You avoid this back in zero. Yeah. Okay, so what I mean is, when it comes to porn, you can have those same feelings of, oh, I recognize this location. Oh, it's kind of funny that like this was in a movie or this was in a different porn or like, but you can't have the same community feeling of being like, I like this movie, what's the behind the scenes? Or I like this reviewer, what's what's it, what's his, wh wh what's the house kind of look like? like? You can't have that the, that same kind of invested feeling in a community because it's fucking porn. Like, who, who are you gonna talk to about this? I mean, I'm barely making sense of it right now trying to describe the feeling I'm talking about. Did you fall? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I just suck up the gate. Yep, do it. Yep. Oh my god, it's a flying situation. Yes, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I don't, I, I, I can't really fucking, I, I can't describe this properly, I don't think. Does anyone know what I mean? Maybe, I, maybe I, I can describe this, okay? At one point, I watched a hentai. This was back in like 2009 or something. And then I watched a separate hentai. And I noticed, even though they, they were very different, Ow. they were very different types of hentai, like, like genre-wise, they used the same background music. And I, and I noticed it, I was like, wait, wait. It's the same music. And then you realize that, oh, it's maybe the same company. And they just re they reuse certain backgrounds and they, re they reuse certain music tracks. It's like, oh, I recognize this. This is like the school from the other. Th and then you, you kind of put it together and it like becomes a. Oh, uh, damn. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 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 on the right, I'm on point here. Good job. Yeah. Oh, 
he's saying, do you know when you watch a porno and you're like, hey, that's my room? I mean, kind of. But like- Oh, you too? <laughs> oh God. Never trust me again, Dev. <laughs> like, like, yeah, imagine, oh, that's just if you wanna do it again, okay. Imagine watching a porno and, okay, here, how about this, Dave? Watching a porno, okay? And you, you recognize nobody in it. Like, not a, oh, just like a, a fucking, okay. You, you recognize nobody in it, at all. But it's clearly like Alan's childhood house. And what, the, and like, what the fuck? What happened here? And then, you, then, you, then you, it turns out that like in 2009, they, they, were, they, they were like hard on money and they secretly rented out like the place for a few shoots. Just hypothetically. I was gonna say, do you know something I don't? <laughs> okay, but like, so hypothetically, yeah. assume that happened. And you and I are like, and then you're like, Dev, go, fucking come look at this. And I come in, I come into your room and you're like tidying yourself up. And you're like, look at this fucking porn. And like, I'm like, isn't that Alan's? And it's like, yes, it is Alan's house. And you're like, what the fuck? It's like, what? Is, 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 is Alan's family in it? Nope, no one I know is in it. But like, it'd be that kind of feeling. It's just so weird. Yeah, it's a weird, like, it's, it, is, it is a weird feeling, but I can't actually describe what it means. Aside from it just being weird. But it's something. It's fucking something. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> just a bizarre old world. Imagine calling someone to your room. You're gonna see this porn dude. Actually, I've done that a few times to Dave. <laughs> yeah. Don't you recall? It's usually Twitter clips. Like, like, like buck breaking and, and, and um... <laughs> so, yeah. Order that. Yeah, go ahead and do these. Oh, these God. Uh, you know, yeah, you show me, you just show me clips and I'm just like, oh my God, what the fuck is wrong with humanity? <laughs> they shot a porn in my workplace once. Yeah, something like that. Where you're like, like Tidge, let's say years after you quit that job, and then you like, you, you find the porn and you're like, what the, what? It's like that kind of feel. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't know. It's not Schadenfreude, because that's like, it's, it's not the same thing. I know what you mean, but it's not the same thing. No, no, no. It's not really, it's not like, like at someone's expense that you're, that you're enjoying it or, or yeah. whatever. Um, and it's not even to say that you're enjoying it. You're just, like, this is weird. Man. How did you feel when you found your classmate in a porn? Fuck! Well, that, that's happened a few times. And, uh, oh. well, uh, with, with the one that we, that we both know. Um, How did it feel when you first found her in a porn? Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I laughed. It's funny, but it's also like kind of otherworldly. Yeah, it was yeah. weird, but I, I was also like, this is really funny. Because <laughs> she was just so blatantly sexual. Well, yeah, dude, she was always getting into porn. Like, you fucking tell. Yeah. Just from talking to her. Awkward, weird. Yeah, but also something else. It's like for that moment, you're in, you're in like a different universe. It, it, it felt bizarre. It yeah. was definitely, it was definitely. <laughs> you know what, you, okay, no, you, you know what it felt, guys? It felt liminal. Now basically there was a girl who was, I was friends with her actually. Like I was, I was reasonably like good like school friends. I didn't, I didn't see her at school, but like, I was good. For, I was pretty good school friends with her, and she was always very, very nice. But she was like hypersexual, yeah, like hypersexual, and it was always kind of strange. But I mean, she was, she was also very sexually confident too. Like for some oh, reason, yeah. she was in high school. It's like, oh, I know, yeah. I, it's like I know what I want. I know, like, and, and we're doing this. And it's like okay, dude. But like, um. She like ended up being in porn. It's like okay, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Obviously, right? Well, she was pretty. She was pretty cute back then. Yeah. Fuck! Get back up, Dave. Good job. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's why I do it, Bruce. <laughs> Remember that had the best awkward moment? He almost scored with a pedo teacher when he was in 11th grade. She drove him back home. They were gonna do it in her car. Is it more awkward if you recognize the dude or the chick in the porn? Mm. Probably the dude. Probably oh, because it's like... Yeah. Because it, there's a chance of someone that I, I, I was probably friends with. Imagine if, mm -hmm. imagine if we just turned on and, and, and we, what saw, the fuck? we saw Jim. 
gem. <laughs> well, he didn't he do? Well, yeah, he used to, he used, he used to yeah, he used to be. Wait, was he, wasn't he under age though? No, I thought he was. No, he was in his 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, yeah. was, he was jacking off on camera for, for, yeah. for guys. Yeah, Jim Jim would jack off. This is a guy we knew in high school. Jim would jack off on camera for guys. And, uh... Like it's, I want to make my money, man. Don't judge me. This but, but, was, like, but, but you, you know, so long before... Um, but you, you couldn't, like, see his face. You always see his face. Yeah. I he think he was wearing a horse mask or something. A horse mask? <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure he said he was wearing a horse mask or something like it. Let's go. What are you doing, dude? I almost, I almost kind of uh, can't do it. Shortcut it up here. Short netted. Yeah. <laughs> you like Jim? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Imagine someone going after running after Damien. Jesus Christ. You know what? I am so happy that my Twitch stuff is almost universally just. Oh fuck. My Twitch stuff is almost universally just like gaming content because Twitch politics is fucking cancerous right now. Oh my god, is it like abysmal? You know, what, what's wrong, Dave? I don't want to be just chatting. No, I don't. Just chatting about comics. Just suiciding, Jesus. That could be arranged, but then they'd, blow, they'd ban you. <laughs> of course, who cares? You're already dead. <laughs> Banned from life. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, hello. You're, Got him. you're a waddler. You fucking. I was gonna get him and you pulled me back. You took my item. You, I you're take a god. Your, you know you I are? take your. I you're take a fucking your girlfriend. boat anchor around my <laughs> fucking life. <laughs> when I'm in dev, I'm blaming you for your whole life. <laughs> yes. Can of tuna or something? Nice. Sardines. So, you. <laughs> there are sardines in a pizza. Oh, it's anchovies, right? Anchovies are fucking disgusting. Oh god, that's, that sounds good. Like, who the fuck would ever put anchovies in a pizza? I don't know. I tried it once because the pizza pizza had it, and I like, oh this, god, this is so disgusting. Oh my, dude, pizza pizza anchovies? They're probably like 50 years old. Tasted like it. <laughs> <laughs> they just dredged them up from the sea. <laughs> it's like we just got this from the Titanic. I believe it. <laughs> We literally harvest them out of Jack's girl's vagina. Well, she didn't exist. Well, I, thought was like, I thought that was a real story. <laughs> sure enough. No, really. No, Hold on. No. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Titanic wasn't a true story? <laughs> Jack and Rose didn't exist. I thought they existed. No. It's the whole point. Like, there's, they have real life. It's a fictional story that takes place during an actual no, I thought, event. I thought, okay, I thought they were like, like, like historical figures. No. No, they never existed. Are uh, you serious? I just blew his mind. <laughs> yeah, Stav. Molly, okay, Molly Brown, you know, Kathy Bates' character, she was real. Then Superman Molly Brown. But no. Okay, like, okay, I, I thought, like, they, they made up the whole, like, we're going down to the sub to find the diamond, and, like, and, like it's been 83 years. Like, I, I, like that was all made up. Yeah, of course but I, it was but made I, but up. I felt like the, like, the actual main romance, like, I that was real. Like, those are two real characters who were actually on the sub. Like, they There's were real people. There are people that could have existed, but, but they didn't. You fuck, shut the fuck up, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you guys, all right? <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was like a true story. No. Like, no, okay, I thought it was like, like based on a true story. You know? No! Like, <laughs> no, it was made up! <laughs> hey, Dev. Yes? I heard Star Wars isn't really. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, I'll never let you live this one down. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have another hour to shame you. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, so guys, uh, Naomi came home from work and then uh, yeah, she, Naomi came home from work. Yeah, I think somebody mentioned the new that. She came, she came home from work and then she um. Did you step on that? Okay, yeah. She came home from work and then she hopped in the shower and then on the break, Dave was like, I had to go to the I had to go to the washroom. <laughs> yeah. And Naomi's in the shower. <laughs> oh God damn it! Okay, what, what, what is the point of having all these stairs here? What is this glowy? Okay. Dude, look at all the stuff I found. You, you, you died. <laughs> That's fine. No, but I don't understand. I don't see the point in this. Oh, hello. Barge in, piss, refuse to elaborate, leave. <laughs> yeah, basically Naomi had to like go, go to work tonight to fill in for a shift, which is why we didn't do uh, we didn't do old Borderlands tonight, unfortunately. 
didn't even know she's actually already gone to work. I thought she, I thought she just like, had, didn't have a shit after all. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much. And look, she showered after coming home. <laughs> that's why she was in the shower. Okay. I, that's how, dude, I spent the day either playing Ring Fit, like exercising Ring Fit, and then I just played Tunic for like you, six you, hours. You, you played like, like an hour, like a Ring Fit today. Like, damn. Yeah. You're really, you're really giving her. Yeah, man. I, I fully intend on, on getting in shape, and I'll, I will use Ring Fit to do it. I don't care. Basically, I, I intend to use Ring Fit until like the, the snow is gone, and then I'll go back outside. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm holding I'll do down. both. I mean, I have gone for, like, I, I've gone on for walks and stuff as well, right? Yeah. So it's not like I haven't gone outside. But the weather is kind of shit. Oh, I see what we gotta do. Okay, hold on, hold on. There's actually a thing here. Okay, so, is there another, come up from this way, Dave? There's like a, actually a little puzzle. Okay. Okay, hold on. No, we'll do that later. Come over this way. Blow your way through these 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 fuckers. Yeah. These fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get that. Suck. Now come this way, Dave. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, never mind. No, 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 actually, oh. no, no. Get off. It. Get out of it. I think that's actually the wrong one. Yeah. Oh. Bye. <laughs> It'll be okay, right? <laughs> Rip staircase. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah. Come back this way. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it is that one. Sorry. Right it one. is yeah. that one. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't fucking know. Well, I mean, I had I had the idea that it was, but I'm like, okay, I guess I'll trust him. Wait, time. you lost access to your Steam account? What happened? Oh, God. It's like you... I mean, I lost access to my face, Facebook, Facebook account. Facebook? Face. <laughs> I'd, I'd much rather lose access to Facebook than Steam. Okay, so now, Steam. hold on. I'll go over here, and I'll hold so this one down. So many thousands of dollars. <laughs> and you get all three. Now all three items are Earl. I use the two metals on a single player? You don't. Okay. Now we can do that that super room over here or something. Super room? Super groom? Subaru. Super Subaru app? <laughs> Subaru's a nice car personally. Is that the ones we should buy? <laughs> uh I mean it, I I don't think that it's like that expensive, honestly. Oh they're, god, they're, they're they're nice, there's, there's, there's flow here, man. Oh, it won't even let me do anything about it either. Listen, you have to understand. Titanic is great. <laughs> it's totally real, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go back, go back. It's go back. real go back. to me! Okay, you're missing something back here. It's over here. Oh, hit the switch already. Oh. So that was it. Oh. Smart. Wait, what's, it? what's over here? There's not, there's not, there's Big old right. nothing there. Right. So, let's go. Whee! Bye. To buy push up. Yeah, buy a French car. It's a Peugeot. Uh, it, it's it's made up, Deb. It's not real. Oh, okay. I'm used to that at this moment. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's real. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a French car. You know, Deb, I, 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 I think I've come to the conclusion that like, I, might, I might be able to just gaslight you about everything at this point. To be fair, I did almost successfully gaslight you about uh, everything. Well, no, about, about Pierce Brosnan getting anal cancer. Um... So for yeah. those of you who don't know, we're talking like 2015 on this show. It was my it was my 30th birthday, and this asshole was like, "So did you read the news? Apparently, Pierce Brosnan died of, of anal cancer." Yeah. This, okay, I don't have my phone on me. Um, I'm dead. Good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. is Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, we, we were doing the show, and there was no we didn't have our phones on us, and we were playing Sonic Adventure. We were doing. We oh, I died. Oh, you fucker. Also, we were in the ice cap zone. Okay. You're in the ice cap zone. And Dave's trying to do like the snowboarding down the thing in, in Sonic Adventure. And I'm just like, hey, guess what? Pierce Brosnan died of cancer. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, man. I have, I have, like, I have like my phone. It's like, and like, you don't have yours, so you can't, you can't confirm. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, yeah. man. Motherfucker. Do, do, do your tornado. I'm trying. Oh, well, God. Not, you're not doing it now. No, I'm, I'm so dead. going down the drink. I'm so dead. So just look it up. Yeah. It's not high enough. Can you, can you, like, fly up and then do it? No, no, you, you can't You can't float up and do it. Oh, yeah, fly up as hard as you can, and now do it. I don't know how to do this. Try to try just kill him. Oh, up there! Oh, shit. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do me. Oh my god, I'm so dead. We're actually gonna die. That's how you do it, dude. That pisses me off for no end. <laughs> See ya. Uh, Pierce Brosnan died of cancer. 
and for five minutes in Dave's head it was real. <laughs> Well, we're, yeah, we were. We were, we were well, you know, because you asked, well, what kind of cancer? And I was like, hold on, I'm still looking up, dude. I'm still, and like, you were like, you're kind of losing it a bit. And eventually, I was just like, anal cancer. <laughs> and that's what I'm going, something's not right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a Pujo here either. Hey, I mean, I've seen what, a, what, I think I've seen a Bentley. What, when, when? I know that there was at least like one very, you know, reasonably high class car company actually made a real regalia from Final Fantasy XV. What was it called? Was it actually called a regalia? Or did they call it something else? Probably a regalia. I think it was like a Cadillac. Mm. I know it cost like a quarter of a million dollars to buy one. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, holy well, shit. It's a special edition. Yeah. I'm like, hey. I'm like, this is my car! It was in a video game! Most people just looking like, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking loser, dude. You spent $250,000 on a car in a video game? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. dude, here they go, here they go. Yeah, they go. Bunga, bunga, bunga. Yeah, you know what I say? It just... Like, this this, this big... Jo oh, there's... there's uh, you see it in the, in the next world, there's gonna be... Um, it's gonna be like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, I see that over there. It's a yeah. big amusement park. Well, there's a bonus level too. Oh boy. Yeah. Light him up. Don't want to lose that like pack. Yeah. Uh, we should probably go back and get those uh, those power, okay. powers upgraded. Uh, we'll do it later. Let's, let's beat the boss. Yeah, fair enough. We'll do it at the start of the next session. Because we're totally playing this again. Oh yeah, of course. Actually, no, we gotta play more Sonic. Shadow, 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 Six. Can you can you can you hit it? Yeah, it's just not greatest because it's like almost isometric, and that's that's my issue with Tunic. Uh, is the fact it's, it's, it's isometric. It's isometric. You can't, so it's, you can't play like Final Fantasy Tactics. Um. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a kind of a it's, a, it's a metric. It's a completely different kind of game, Def. Listen, Dave. You're comparing. You, Dave, Dave. You compare, call you, you call every single possible. Non-standard effect on the Super Nintendo Mode Seven. <laughs> Don't you dare equivocate with me. <laughs> what I mean is, it's it's a it's a Souls-like Zelda clone. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not a fucking strategy game. <laughs> uh, you better you only got like a minute. So. Yeah, I'm trying. Dave, Dave's about the skills tonight, guys. The moves. There we go. I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm the Vulcanist. Uh, we're gonna finish Shadow tomorrow morning. Well, we have three more. We have three endings to go. Hypo hypothetically. Oh, dude. I'll fucking bet money. I'm not betting anything. I'm tired. I'm tired of trying to, to reason with you. Hey, schnitzel. Hey, schnitzel. You're showing up right at the end of the show, man. How dare you show up late, you fuck. Let's fight the boss, dude. I'm with you. The tropical terror. Dun, 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 it's dun, the diamonds. Oh, shit. I don't have a... Dun, 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 I, better, I better be able to power for it pretty soon. Okay. You want spike? You want chakram? Or you want um, fire? I understand, Shinsu. I'm, I'm joking around with you, man. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Not serious. You want cutter? Oh, but how dare you? Cutter. I hardly know her. Oh. All right. Hi. What is it? Is it just the tree? Oh! And he's grown up! The unfriendly fronds, Tropic Woods! And he's got a goatee. What a douchebag. Of course he's a goatee. He lives in a tropical environment. He's like the surfer guy who, like, he, he basically exists to hang around the resort. Oh. And like, occasionally he'll do surfing lessons. Most of the time he just, like, sexually assaults women who show up. Oh, so he's like guy from, uh, first, no, first stage, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm getting in there again. Yeah. I'm stuck. Ah! Oh! 
Oh jeez, what, what, what the hell's coming out, coming out of the ground? Oh, oh, oh my god! Like, this is actually a reasonably epic, epic boss fight. You know, they, they, they've done a good job with this. With, with like, the, the fights in this, they actually feel like, like real fights, not just like, oh, wait for him to get hit. The chakram, the chakram cutter is so OP. <laughs> just throwing out like 50 of at a time. <laughs> oh. Green Marshall Sir Marshall movie. Well, I mean, it was, took place in Hawaii, right? Noble Ranger. Wait, weather outside hold on. is weather. Wait, wait. The, the, the Rangers aren't noble. They're literally out there colonizing this new world with, with their muskets. Dev. Looking for gold. To the British Empire, they were noble. Okay, there was a dude. Okay, okay, there's like actually like a picture of The Rock mm -hmm. from wrestling. And he, like, for some reason, he, he had like, like a feathered arm. And like and like a, a like a weird hat on. He had like his shades, right? And he was yeah. like speaking in the microphone. He had like he had like his arm out. Yeah. And someone's like, <laughs> me desperately trying to stop the Spanish cannonball after I sacrificed twelve slaves to my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like all right, dude. <laughs> okay, it's a dark time in Samoa. <laughs> Right. Oh, dude, they, they built a... Oh, they a built few, a, a, few, a few more shops. Office. All right, what do they got? They Waddle D. Deliveries. Waddle D. Deliveries, nice. Present codes. What's that, an inn? Oh, Kirby's, Kirby's house. house. Nice. And a restaurant. A Waddle D. Cafe. Oh, you have to spend money on that. Oh, you can spend money to just get other things? Okay. What are you doing, dude? You can now play Waddle D. Cafe. Help wanted. Work fast, turn alive, hungry caught locals. Ooh. Oh, seems like a, that seems like a good way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Do some mini games? Yeah. Alright. Well, I mean. The bomb ability cannot be evolved. Needle ability cannot be evolved. Let's go buy it. Let's go spend all of our money. The ranger ability cannot be evolved. I should have enough money and enough. What are you doing? Wise Waddle Dee. Oh, cool. He just seems like overeducated bureaucrat Waddle Dee. He got like he yeah. got like a useless degree and he's like, oh, where's my student loans? Uh, Gotta pay him somehow. It's like every professor ever. <laughs> yes. Waddle Dev. Alright, what can you do? Dev. Wow, you have new blueprints. Let's go. Ranger, bomb. Chain bomb. And cut and needle. clutter needle. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the ranger and bomb first because I think you can do them all, dude. Probably. Yeah, you can definitely do them. Yeah, all. I can You're do them. All. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so what does this add? Just you can just press plus plus to skip it if you yeah. want. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo soldier. <laughs> okay, can you like? Hot dog, man. Oh, oh, dude, you have like like double shots. Yeah. Yeah. Double muskets. Oh! God damn! Dude, how long till this game is cancelled for being fucking racist? Uh, they haven't managed to cancel in Japan yet, so never. Yeah, I kind of agree, Shin. So they needed more like the like the other characters. Oh, it's a bunch of other things. Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh, it's a Katamari. That really all it is. Yep, it's a Katamari. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, it's all right, <laughs> but it's, it's no, it's no bomb. All right, what's this one all about? Chain bomb. What does it do? Oh. oh. See, you can, you can blow them up against these, these oh. themselves. Oh. Yeah. And you can actually, you can aim too. Yep. Yes, cool. uh, Morph Box. In this game, they added a bunch of upgrades. You can like buy upgrades to your powers that, that actually give them like Kirby 64-esque abilities. I'm definitely going with this one though. <laughs> 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 Buffalo Soldier. Well, actually, I, it's, it's like a, it's like a, uh, a tri-corner. So it's almost like a, like a, like a, well, it's definitely a call on this hat. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, dude. What? It's what they wore. <laughs> you racist. It's what they wore. You can ask an OBS question, but I probably can't answer because I'm not very good at anything. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Kirby, you got a sack? No, I don't geek have He's open. You want to try a career? I'm not joining you. You can do this. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Press L on the controller, Dave. Bugaboo. All right, what's up? Check each customer's order. Oh, this is going to be like overcooked or something. Mm -hmm. Or what else is it? I want an M. I want an M. This is much more simple than a... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you'd be like making subs and like putting sandwiches together and like gonna put this on a thing and then put the mayo on and then. No, How do you get that blur effect from the source? I keep getting a hard edge. You guys have it nice and smooth. Um, I know what you mean. There's a plugin that I can't remember the name of. Like this right here, right? Like this, this bit of, of blurring coming off of the um, the screen as like a light source. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the plugin. Fuck. I can't remember the name. We guys set it up like years ago. Hold on, maybe we can just really, like really quickly while Dave dicks around here. Listen, Dave, don't uh Oh I got paid for it. Don't don't let the shop go to shit while I'm doing this, okay? Sounds good. What is it hold on. There's like a, a thing that pops up whenever I open up OBS and say hi hey, check for this thing's new thingy. Let me see. This? Yeah, okay, this is what it's called. It's called Stream FX for OBS Studio. Last updated February 26, 2022. There it is. Good luck, buddy. Wait, there's a Kirby car cake? Mm. I kind of want one now. <laughs> The game froze from and I was like, oh. No, no, it did that last time. <laughs> You're actually pretty good at this. Maybe you should return to retail, you know? Fuck off. <laughs> I mean, maybe, why not? Why not? Why not? Because it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> If you're good at this, I'm going to punish you. <laughs> uh, how about no? Are you seriously going to do all of them? I, I might as well try it out. Look at that Kirby burger. That Kerr burger, as they call it. Yeah, we are coming up to much the end of the stream, so we'll probably go raid Zaver or something in a bit. Once Dave's done goofing around town. The lunch rush. <laughs> Listen, Dave, why'd you even bother saving them? Oh, fuck. Dave, don't ruin things. Dave, Dave, oh my god, Dave, oh my god. <laughs> Good job. I only, made, I only made one mistake. What the fuck? What, titanium? Catholic propaganda? Catholic oh, Kirby propaganda. Propagandist. Like saying it's like saying Calvin and Hobbes is is in Dude, fact it's is, 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 and is this, just and this gig. We're going to the gig economy, guys. <sighs> Feels good, man. Feels gig, man. Kirby is a devout Catholic. Oh yeah. So I recall, like it, most people take like Uber or Lyft jobs because they like the flexibility of not being employees, right? They like being contractors. Mm. They, they like the fact that it's it's a gig job. Because they can, they can, they can go on and off whenever they want. They can work their own hours. Like they yep. feel like it's it's more flexible for them. Yep. 
California basically destroyed that whole thing because they now make you just be employees. Wow. Yep. Yeah. California is fucking awful. Yeah, like you have to work shit, set shifts. Yeah, fuck. Oh, just like health. Okay, just, 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 just in case you, you don't have any health, you can just buy some. Okay. Why would you waste your money? You're almost full health. <laughs> oh, you take it to go. Oh, what does that mean? It means you can use it. Oh. Yeah, they said that. He said that when I was when I was talking to him originally. I was like, that can't be right. Okay, I guess we'll take it out. But I don't want to be tied down. Like I like Twitch because it's literally like it is a gig economy thing. I can work at my own pace. It's not like I'm an employee of Twitch and Twitch is like you must stream from this. No, I do it whenever I want. Oh boy, a present code. Play it on. Dave, are you, are you getting this online? Enter your present code. What's your present code? I don't have one. <laughs> what is a present code? What's with that wall? First password. Okay. What is how, how does this work? Uh, you put in the password. Okay. This is kind of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, why? Why make us type this? Stuff? This is the this is the weakest part of this game. Is is this? Aha! Uh -huh, the code checks out. It's at the front of your house. Your package. Yeah, I don't I don't like that at all. The fact that you had to just type it in like that. Well, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's gotta be a better way to do this. <laughs> You got a hundred coins. That's cool. You got a hundred coins back. Yeah, it's like so. A apparently, you can actually like other people can like give you gifts from their game, bring it to your game by like putting codes in and putting them in the world. Like it's. What does the book say? It's like the Kirby. Jesus Christ, Neon. Oh look. Oh, Cur Kirby's extra epic yarn. That game is so easy because you just can't die. Yeah. <laughs> Kirby Battle Royale. I don't know if that's one either. Oh, it's sub games, that's why. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> I, I remember this game, but Canvas not. Canvas Curse? Yeah, no, Rainbow Curse. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, right. That was. Was that. Was that just like. Canvas a Curse was what was on the 3DS. Was that, was that a remake? No, it's was, no, it was DS. Oh, was it? Yeah. Look at DD there's like, oh. Yeah, he's, he's a percussion guy. These are a bunch of Koreans that haven't even played before. Yep. Like, where are the good ones? Star Allies. What's that from? Okay. These are all Switch games I haven't even fucking seen before. Predestor X. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just somehow like. Are these not even out in North I don't America know. yet? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, is there like another tab? No. That's it. Okay. This is Past Adventures. So, Past Adventures are a bunch of like newer games that so, go back as far as the Wii, but not... I don't not. even remember seeing... Can go back, Dave? Is there like another Past Adventures book or something? No. That's it. So, it, they put in all the, pa the Past Adventures. Don't include Kirby 64. Don't include Kirby Superstar. Don't grab the like. What the? What the fuck? <laughs> From the Wii till now. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, this music. Awesome. So wait, all those games are apparently just so poorly advertised nobody played them. Jesus. What the fuck, Nintendo? I don't know. They're really weird with their marketing. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Igri. Yeah. 
Anyway, are you done, Dave? I think yeah. I'm done. Yeah. This, this is the end. This is the end. This is the end of the world as we know it. And I feel... <laughs> oh, God, I can't suck so hard. Well, no, Superstar got a 3DS re-release, and they, they fucked it up, yeah. All right. All right, guys, we'll see you, we'll see you later. BRB. Or no, bye.